We're back, Casino Guitars, Jonathan here. And Sean. Just got a fun video today. My dear friend Jack Stowe sent me this awesome uh, little guitar pedal thing. I know it is not a very conventional looking guitar pedal, um, but thought it'd be a fun video. It's almost like a little face. It That's is like, like a little face. It. But like better than, than uh, 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 what did they call them, a fuzz, fuzz face. Fuzz face, yeah, because yeah. it's an oil I'll can. see that, because it's an oil can. STP. STP. Stone Temple Pilots, what? Um, anyways. The but secret. no, I mean, so an actual oil can. These are made by Ted Weber of, of the, the speaker fame. I think I think of Ted Weber as speakers, right? Is that fair to say? So. Like, that's how I've always it's known It's kind of cool. Not um, speakers anymore, though. Not just not speakers. Not just speakers anymore. Um, but they make, they make uh, obviously, some, some cool things like this. But anyway, seriously, thank you, Jack, so much for, uh, awesome, for sending this. Um, that was super kind of him, and, and he sends us all kind of cool, cool things. Yes. He's become one of our dear friends. Sweet man, Jack. Um, I appreciate you. Yeah, no, he's just just taking care of us all the time. But um, yeah, man. So yeah. Ted Weber says this is a medium gain overdrive, and we'll take this thing oh. off. Whoa! Got a little tube sitting right there, a twelve A U seven. So kind of oh. neat, right? It is kind of neat. Now. I have not even plugged this thing up yet. In fact, maybe we will do that later in, in this video. We don't even know. It's crazy. We, don't even, we haven't made a plan that far yet. But um, Jack Jack ordered two of these and sent me one because, uh, again, he's awesome. Um, and his the videos he sent me sounded Pretty sick. stupidly good. And in my brain, I immediately thought, you know, like, I'm probably not going to stick this thing on a pedal board because... It's got a tube on it. Some obvious, you know, <laughs> limitations. But I thought, you know, I do a lot of tracks in my little studio for, for people, and I thought, man, this would be killer for that. But I also thought, you know, like a lot of times I use digital things for that. We're live. I'm using tube amps. So yeah. maybe if I plug this thing in to like a Tone X or one of the UA pedals. That could be interesting. More actually. tubes is more good, I think, right? I think so, so it's got to be... Got to be kind of neat. But, but what do you think, Sean? How do you feel about tubes and things that are not amps? So... I used to, well, it depends on what it is, right? I've seen some pedals that have tubes within them. Right. Not so good. It seems like it's more of a gimmick. But then I think it was Fender. They came out with the, they came out with two pedals and they had MTG on them. Yep. And it was Mind the Gap is what yep. it meant. It was about some of like the British stuff, right? Yeah, right. It was using British Because when you tube. get on the tube in, uh, in the UK, you don't want to like fall and die in between the train and the thing. Now, there's a little lady that says, mind the gap. If my voice wasn't all screwed up, I'd try to say it in my British accent, mind but it gap. is. Um, I don't know. There you is. go. <laughs> mind the gap. Um, no, it is. That's but what yeah. she says. You see, yeah, it was That's just sick. great. And it was so nice. So she had such yeah. a nice little voice. It's a lady. But anyways. Magic. But they, <coughs> I should yeah. assume that. But anyways. <coughs> they had um, a tube trim and they did yeah. an overdrive. And both right. of them sounded really good. So since then, they did. it's kind of changed my mind. And I'll tell you, for this, I think this is like the coolest pedal with a tube on it because i've seen a lot that have like they kind of make it look all like hardcore like it's got like a grill and stuff <laughs> yeah That's right right this looks sick though i'm like it, it does kind of look like a face and that looks like a big pointy nose well there's like the black star pedal that's got the tube in there that's yeah. the metal one that's one of them you know there's different ones i will say so we talk so much about like modelers and multi-effects things now like like they're i mean they're the the thing right now right but yep. that's this has been going on for decades because i can remember Years and years and years ago, there was this whole, there was this Vox multi, multi uh, yeah. effects the valve, thing. The valve state thing, right? Yeah. And, it, and I used to want one so bad. I was like, man, this is the coolest thing. And it was, you know, yeah. sat on the floor. It could be your modeler. It could be your effects, whatever. But it had a little tube sitting in it. I don't even know if you could change it out. I guess they're just assuming that, you know, a 12AX7 is going to last forever. Um, <laughs> hopefully, you know, knock on wood. But... You know, there are all sorts of things like that that they yeah. put a tube in, or like uh, there were these like kind of tube amps that were kind of modeling amps that, yeah. they, you know, Vox did the same thing. And then later it was like, oh, it's not a real tube. It's sort of like a tube in there, like yeah. the Valvetronic stuff. Or Well, Fender's done um, some things like that where it's got like tube driven overdrive right. in the amp, but it's a solid state amp. I've seen a couple of those. And that's cool, but it also warrants like, well, why don't you just make a tube amp and. Have a good overdrive pedal, but I don't know. I I'm excited to hear this. Me too. Here in a minute to like plug it in and see how it affects an amp 
whenever you're just grinding it. Grinding it out, pushing it. That's right. I'll be interested to know, right, like uh, questions, questions to answer. Um, so, you know, a lot of overdrive pedals, you end up putting the gain down, the volume up, and you just push it. But with the gain up on one of these, is it going to be more amp-like? Because yeah. it's... That is a good point. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, um, you know what we should do? Physics. We should plug it into one of those uh, flat response cabinets. Oh, and see what, it, see what it does there. That's the way to do it because then it's tube straight to speaker. There's no middleman, nothing like that. We, I think that would be a cool, that would be interesting. cool little shot. Because, you know, Derek actually, I, I didn't even tell Derek, I hadn't told Derek this piece sitting behind the camera. Um, you know, he'd ask, like, what would happen if you just plug straight into the Tone Master speakers. I did it when I took one home, Derek, and it actually sounded pretty good. It was just like super ultra clean, but you know. You By go. the way, if you're if you're looking at the Fender Tone Master, I know there's been sort of like eight billion videos about them uh, since they've come out, um, and all the different reviewers have different thoughts, and they're better than the Helix, they're not. They're better than the Quad Cortex, they're not. But um, one of the channels that I follow is a guy named John Nathan Cordy. You ever watched that guy? No, I'm not. I don't agree with him on everything, but, you know, a really interesting take on modeling and, and all that kind of stuff. And he sent back his Tone Master Pro, but thought that the the cab was the best flat response cab so far. Thought it fixed a lot of the problems. Apparently, he's had some of the really expensive ones and the cheaper ones and didn't really dig any of them, yeah. but loved the, the Fender version, which yeah. makes sense because that's yeah. kind of what Fender does, right? Make yeah. amps and make speakers for that kind of stuff so. i would uh i would thoroughly enjoy playing around with some i might we might do a video on that soon where we you know one of your one of your amp shootouts but we get the ua pedals and maybe we run them through one of those if you'd like to see that leave it in the comments just to see if it you know what what kind of nuance differences you get out of that compared to maybe running it through like a mixer and then running it into just an amp I'm, I, it's absolutely different right because it's yeah. so different running modeling stuff like recording and listen to it through my studio monitors versus live straight into the PA. You're like one of my yeah. towers. I mean, it's like yeah. wildly different. So I, I you know, I kind of understand the having the cab, although I still don't understand why you wouldn't just take an amp in that scenario. At that point, you're but, already going this far. Know, yeah. wh whatever. Um, I still think we need the UA line. Yeah. Because those yeah. things, man, all the that clips in line. There was a, there's an Instagram video. It might be on YouTube now too. It's Dylan Adams. He ran it live. He did it live just straight into the PA. And it sounded stupidly good Dude. on his clip. I heard um, somebody doing some Van Halen stuff on one, and I was like, Jesus. I mean, it, it sounded right on the money. It was like, note for note, I was like, oh, man. It's really good. The Woodrow is really sick. good, man. Um, you know, now there's the whole ox. No, I just, it's just a lot. It's a lot of things. So many things. Um, but anyways, all, all sorts of thoughts. But anyway, just, just thought this was really cool. The, the Ted Weber, it's actually called, I should have said this earlier, a lube screamer. And that's reason enough right there. <laughs> if you didn't want it already. Um, we don't sure carry these, know. by the way. So no, don't no. call us. But if you want one, go buy one because this it's is pretty yeah. sick. Um, I mean. No, you got to get them from Ted Weber's website. I think I, they might just do like limited releases of them. But um, yeah. yeah, go check it out. The Ted Weber website. Um, yeah, lube, lube Screamer. They have all sort of different cans. So, you know. And yeah. apparently... It says on the website that they can make custom builds inside the little can enclosures. So if you want something that's not a medium gain overdrive, if you want a weird fuzz or something, I'm sure they could do that too. Um, pretty that's cool. That's kind of sick. I can. So anyways, like Sean said, let us know in the comments what do you think of overdrive pedals with tubes um, or anything else, or if there's fun things you want us to test out with this. That's we, right. We shall do it. Uh, I'm happy to. Thanks so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Don't forget the bell. It's important. Ding, ding. We shall see you next time.
Thank you.